All right, what the deal, everybody? Welcome to Too Rich to Miss Unscripted. You are now tuned in to the hottest voice in cryptocurrency, your southern urban voice, Mr. Too Rich himself. And we have a hot and amazing episode for you today. Coming back into the building to you with uh, some good and happening and exciting things going on in the background. Some updates and upgrades coming along the coming around the mountain. Uh, you should hear a nice crisp increase and more happier sound that we got going on. Uh, so we got some great things happening and uh, we are going to be hopping in. And as usual, we will be talking about the market. Uh, we're going to be talking about DeFi, which has went down a little bit. We'll be talking about micro strategy. We'll be talking about MasterCard and CBDCs and the article that we have for the learning that you should definitely take a deeper look at uh, is Smart Contract 101. So as usual, keep in mind and never forget the only real color that matters is green. Let's get it. Welcome to Too Rich to Miss Unscripted with your host, the Southern Urban Voice, Mr. Too Rich. And this show is about providing you with cryptocurrency and digital asset news, education, and tips that you can use as you take this wild and exciting journey into crypto. And as always, remember... The only real color that matters is green. Let's get it. Speaking Software Show is more than a podcast, but also a resource for software developers at any stage of their career. A no-nonsense guide to all things soft in software development. But more importantly, a 10-year developer working abroad successfully is now available to help you, software developers worldwide, to be their best. Find out more at www.speakingsoftwareshow.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are back in the building looking at the market today. Uh, well, actually, first and foremost, uh, always and never forget to follow me on all of my platforms here. Let's bring the screen up. Uh, be sure you go through and follow me on Too Rich to Miss on YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Shout out to all of my new Twitter followers. Uh, shout out to all of my international people out over there in Spain and everywhere else. Uh, shout out to all my people over there in South Africa. Shout out to my people over there in New York. We are on the New York City podcast network out there in New York City. So uh, we're getting some listens out there. Shout out to all of y'all. We got a great episode coming up this week. Uh, that's going to be really nice that you're going to enjoy. All right, so let's go on and hop right into it. Looking around at the market, the market is red right now. And you know how I feel about red days. I love red days because red days are the days when you're DCAing in. There's nice, good dips that you buy into. Now, I want to go through and talk about something for a second here. And I'm just going to focus on Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I'm just going to focus on what they've done for the year because I talk about dollar cost average again. DCA is the way and time in the market always beats timing the market. So the reason why I say that is because when you DCA in and let's just say you've been DCA in uh, all throughout the year. This chart right now, this shows as of right now today. Year to date, if you were invest, if you were DCAing in a, in Bitcoin, uh, this is how Bitcoin has performed year to date, and this is how Ethereum has performed year to date. Uh, just for those, just for everybody listening in the back, uh, Bitcoin is up eighty four point nine five percent as of today, and Ethereum is up. 
198% as of today. And uh, I, I, I honestly cannot see, can't see, cannot open that up. I see. And if you go into the altcoin forest, I had to go over there and look at that again just to make sure I saw that right. Link, if you're looking in the altcoin forest, Link is up just to show you a little something. Year to date, Link is up 539%. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, Ave, Ave Lind, uh, 3000%. So, I mean, you know, this is crypto and this is the altcoin forest. So it gets real over here. There's a lot of gains to be made over here, but you can, uh, you can lose your shirt over here as well. I was trying to see, could I find another one with some real good, good SNX? Look at SNX, 183% synthetics <laughs> uh and i mean just leo just one we're just looking at it. leo 56 percent. i mean you know this i mean look at the i mean we have tons and tons of red uh ocean protocol uh d-y-o-r ocean protocol by the way ocean protocol is up massively uh as well if you just messed around in the altcoin for us so i mean now you know, I mean, hey, there's, you know, you know, so I'm just, uh, I'm just saying here, you know, um, if you've been, if you, if you've been investing in DYOR and in crypto, things have been really well for you now. So when I say red days are great days, red days are great days, because when there's a dip, you go through and buy into these dips because your portfolio and your bag grows. And that's why I say DCA is the way and timing time in the market always beats attempting to timing the market. We never know when the price is gonna really go from, we don't know if this price is gonna go from 13 to 20 or 20 to 15 or whatever. But one thing we do know, it'll go up a little bit, it'll go down a little bit. It'll go up a little bit more. It'll go down a little bit. It'll come up. It'll go down. It'll go up. It'll go down. But overall, it's been going up. And the fundamentals that we have in place uh, just say that it's going to continue to go up. So that uh, really kind of takes us right into our second article here. Um, our second article that we have here, just talking about micro strategy goes right in just to reiterate specifically uh, what we've been talking about and what we've been saying here. And it just that since they made their investment, look at this right here, uh, the Bitcoin that they bought. Now, obviously, they bought a lot. They bought like four hundred and twenty five million. So the Bitcoin that they're holding right now has increased in value by $103 million. $103 million in the last 79 days. Now, even with them as a financial institution at with money at the level that they had, do you really think that they could have got a 24% retu return on investment in the last 79 days, even at their level by doing nothing? but just holding on to it. I mean, you know, uh, there's 18, uh, seven, 17, 18 total companies that are holding Bitcoin on their balance sheet right now. Uh, let me see. Can we pull that up right quick? Uh, let's see. Can we pull this up? Uh, companies holding Bitcoin. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see if this one is it. See if we can just pull it up real quick. If not, we'll, we will definitely move on. Uh, let's see, because there's, uh, there's a top list. Uh, oh, the top. This is not the list of all of them. Yeah, let's see, because uh, let's see. Here's a short list. 
Uh, so, uh, and uh, I mean, just this, this is the one that once again, kind of just to reiterate, these are the ones that we know that have uh, Bitcoin on their balance sheet and everybody's up. Everybody is up. 98% of the people that hold Bitcoin that have bought Bitcoin is in the green right now. Now, granted, in the midst of saying that, um, I do feel like there's going to be a pullback and uh, there will be another nice little dip for us to be able to buy into and for us DCAs to be able to get excited about. Uh, so if you are definitely, if you haven't jumped into the market and you hadn't got in here looking at the Bitcoin, go down and look at the Bitcoin chart. Uh, if you hadn't got in here, you know, now was a great time to go on and get in here. And now uh, just kind of looking at the yearly chart right here. Um, I think in the midst of it all, not a trader, just from a from a DCA standpoint. And now uh, I definitely think it's very possible that we do a little dip here that'll give um that'll give a nice little value position because I'm more so looking at uh, accumulating accumulating the most at the best at the lowest price over time. Uh, because you buy into these low positions, you accumulate more over time because uh, I have a long I have a longer time horizon. Uh, so when you have a longer time horizon, you go through and buy like this dip right here and then the price, then you get this dip right here, you know, and then you get this dip right here. You get this dip right here, you know, and then all of these dips that you got and then the price comes up here. You get this dip right here. There's a dip right here. You know, by the dips, DCA is the way. And as I showed you on the previous chart over the year, Bitcoin is up over 89%. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, you're working with the asset that's been going up all this year and with the uh, fundamentals and the current macroeconomic situation that's going on overall, if you look at it with the financial system, uh, hey, it is what it is gold silver bitcoin bitcoin is the new digital gold when you understand its purpose and you understand the purpose of the rest of the coins in the market and you can start to really look and decipher what what is a real coin versus what is a quote unquote ish coin then you can continue on and make it do what it do and find those good products when you're doing your dyor uh but it is what it is, you know, digital gold. It is Bitcoin. And, um, you know, the smart money is already over there doing it. The question is, what are you doing to create a hedge to the funds that you have already accumulated? Or if you hadn't accumulated any funds just yet, uh, what, you know, why are you not uh, DCA in your way into this thing called Bitcoin? All right, let's go into our last article right here. We are going to be talking about MasterCard and this article right here, to be quite honest with you. I tweeted the article out and I tweeted the article out on my Twitter. You can catch all of the articles that we talked about in this broadcast today on my Twitter feed at Too Rich to Miss on Twitter. And also be sure to follow me on Instagram at Too Rich to Miss on Instagram as well. Uh, so. When you're looking at this particular article, at the end of the day, they said all this, that, and the third. But here's the bottom line. The only thing that MasterCard really wants to talk about is what they were talking about as well as stated in the last part of the article. MasterCard has cemented themselves. Uh, well, not cemented, but I'm sure they probably have. But that's not the proper term to use right now. Uh, MasterCard has... Uh, put a real strong footing uh, into the lane of CBDCs. Uh, so their whole thing that they're doing right now is they're just making sure that uh, everyone in the world knows that uh, they are going to be pushing CBDCs and they are on board with that whole CBDC train. And I've talked about that uh, in other videos and extensively on uh, other videos uh, in regards to CBDCs. And they, you know, is, is it something that you're going to have to use eventually? Yeah. Uh, is it going to be something that you should totally put all your faith in? Uh, God, I hope not. God, please don't. 
uh that's the whole point in why you should learn what cryptocurrencies and bitcoin and all of that is now uh before you know uh everything really gets uh into a whole nother state and then you're you know don't know exactly how to function properly so with all that being said i appreciate you coming out here and checking me out we have an amazing episode that's coming up this week with speakingsoftwareshow.com on the podcast uh and he's going to be dropping some gems i mean this guy we're going to put out one video on here right after this one comes out here uh we will have our video out by lunchtime today uh so all of you people that uh check me out during lunchtime uh you'll be able to see this video so we have all of that going a lot of wonderful things happening the show is going to be getting better and we thank you for all of the people that follow me and shout out to the 95 percent of you that listen to that listen to me and watch the videos uh that haven't just subscribed shout out to all of my new people out there that are checking out me that are checking me out out there in new york city so we are going to catch you tomorrow and as always never forget the only real color that matters is green peace